Hey everyone, today we'll be doing a tour of my fish room. The very first tour of 2023 and it's gonna be fun. It's not done yet. I really didn't want to make this video because not everything's in order and there's still some things I want to put up. Like you see that wall over there? It's really empty and I plan to have a few more tanks. Uh, so I plan to build another rack. So yeah, there's, there's still li a little bit that needs to be done. But today, you guys have been waiting for this, so let's take a look at this fish room. This is what you see when you walk in. I'll show you guys. It's not the cleanest right now, but this is how it's been for uh, a while. We've got a refrigerator here. I've got some frozen foods. And it looks like a drink that I left in here. And then the refrigerator where there's some uh, fish food, pellets, and some drinks as well. Also some coffee in here, but yeah, the coffee is not really for me. It's for when people come over uh, But then here's my sink where I wash stuff. I've got sponges uh, And then we've got the water change system here. This takes out all the chlorines and chloramines and Then we've got a small little uh, desk tabletop here Yeah, and then that's that's basically this section over here. We've got a water heater for the uh, winter and then over here is some brine shrimp that I've been hatching out. I need to get these out and feed the fish today. Uh, but yeah, that is this section right here. I've installed a clock into this room. But now let's move on. Let's go with these two tanks first. Uh, this tank here is my angelfish tank, my red head or the Manakapuru angelfish. I don't know if they're like really Manakapuru angelfish. I don't really think they are. Um, but they do have red heads and I'll put a picture up of my IPLC contest tank which I featured these guys and yeah they're cute they're pretty personable fish. This tank has some lotus in it, uh, tiger lotus. This tank is not its completed form there's still many plants I want to put in here and you can see it got an infestation of snails in this tank. I don't know why I don't even feed this tank that much um, but you can even see like the back wall there's so many snails back there. Like, what are all these guys doing here? Well, this is the only tank which I've got a snail problem in. I don't even feed that much, so I'm not sure. But yeah, that is this tank. I've got some bulbitis up here that I'm trying to grow immersed. You can see some small little leaves coming out, so that's a good sign. And then over here next to that tank, these two tanks are three foot tanks, by the way. I put the dimension up on the screen. But this is the rainbow fish that I've bred, uh, the Melanotania bosmanae. In Japan we call them the half orange rainbow and you can clearly see why they're called that. But beautiful fish. This tank I'm really happy with. Uh, this tank is also not in any way, shape or form done. There's still some plants I want to put in here. I'm thinking of maybe putting some Cryptocorn parva in here. I've got some of that but it's in my other tank. It's in one of my tanks which I can't show you which I'll explain why later. Um, but I want to pull some of that and plant it in here. And then we've got a mixed variety of crypts in here. This is Cryptocorn Walkeri or Walkeri. Don't really know how to pronounce that but... Yeah and then my favorite crypt Pontoderifolia. You can see this tank also features Pontoderifolia um, but when it gets bigger it becomes like this so I'm just waiting for those to get like that. That is a beautiful plant. This is also Pontoderifolia. And then we've got Nymphaea micranthra, which is the tricolored uh, Nymphaea. That's a beautiful plant. And that thing, for the longest time, has been like kind of dormant. But until recently, it's been starting to send out leaves, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, yeah, I've just been doing more water changes with these two tanks, as well as adjust play with the light. You can see this tank is looking quite nice and the plants in the back you might be wondering what that is but these are icornia from Roraima and I'll put the name up on the screen but uh, yeah you might be familiar with icornia azurea I think that type grows bigger uh, this is a type I found at a fish store I got a bag of maybe five or six for 400 yen which is about four or five dollars and I've grown it all this much Look, so many of that icornia now. It's so easy to propagate that plant. And I've got even more in another tank. 
But yeah, let's move on. Now just behind me, there's a tank, my four foot tank that I can't show you, but if I actually upload this video the day, the next day on a Saturday and not a Friday, which I usually do, I could actually show it to you because I entered this tank, every year I enter this tank into a contest, a competition, and the rules are that you're not allowed to show the tank to anyone, you're not allowed to put it on social media until after the results have been announced. And I don't know why they make a rule like that, but it's just the rule and I've been following it. And yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I want to upload this video on Saturday because that kind of ruins my Friday streak, so... Uh, we'll just we'll just wait. I'll, I'll upload it on my Instagram. I'll upload a picture of this tank on my Instagram So make sure you to go check it out I'll put the link right down below and I'll put it right here so that you guys can follow me on Instagram and check that tank out But I've been participating in the IAPLC. I think this is my fourth year and It's a really fun contest. You guys should try it out enter That's one of your tanks in the contest it doesn't have to be like high-tech high-end just a nice planted tank and yeah you can enter a contest. That's why I can't show you that tank but I've got some Cryptocorn Parva in there and that's why I want to use it in one of this tank over here. But let's move on. Over here I've got an ADA tank um, that's not being set up yet. I've just got some boxes of Cryptocorns growing in here. This is Pontadera Folia growing immersed. The thing is the other way around but Ponta Derifolia is my favorite plant, so I've got a bunch of that. And then I've got a few other crypts in here. Yeah, I've just been enjoying growing crypts in this tank as well. Uh, these two are 60 centimeter tanks, by the way. One is rimless, one is rimmed. Um, but yeah, so you can see this tank is filled with cryptocorin, some type of Anubias, as well as a bit of Lagenandras and. Yeah, I think that's basically it. Oh, there's one Echinodorus in here. Amazon Sword. It's a small type Amazon Sword. Yeah, I think it's like Parviflorus or something. Yeah, but I've been enjoying this. But I don't know, I kind of want to do something different with this. I, I want to focus my crypts in more of these containers. Build a rack just for this and then... I don't know. But let me know what you guys think of this. This is kind of fun to watch uh, every once in a while. Down here I've got some plants that I need to repot and try to grow. These are for the fish room. I want to put them in nicer pots and kind of decorate the fish room. Now this stand right behind me is a 6 foot stand, 180 centimeters, that I built uh, almost two years ago I think. And I actually built this and planned for a 6 foot tank. Uh, 180 centimeter, ew, I just said it, uh, a six foot tank um, on here one day it would be my dream tank to have a tank that size and maybe have some angel fish or something uh, swimming in like a natural biotope style tank um, but I don't know that plan might have changed it, it hasn't changed I still want a six foot tank but not right here I'm gonna move this stand uh, to where the two three foot tanks were and We'll, we'll do more videos about it moving on, so moving forward, so make sure you subscribe to this channel. Um, but the reason why I don't want it here anymore is because I want one more rack system, and I don't want the rack to be in the middle of the room where the three foot tanks are because that because having something tall in the middle of the room will kind of make the room feel smaller. You won't be able to see past and yeah, see the other side of the room. So I'm thinking of having the rack over here. It'll just be a two-tier rack. So one level up here and then another level up here. So it's not going to be that high of a rack system. I actually have a sketch. It's not really a sketch, but a drawing I made of it right there. So I don't know how well that's focusing, but that is what I want to make for this section over here and the six foot stand will go over there. Um, but let's take a closer look at these two tanks over here. So in this tank, this is a two foot tank right now and we've got a mix of stem plants, uh, Rotalas mostly, and then we've got the Ludwigius Phyrocarpa, which is my favorite stem plant of all time at this moment and probably will be for the longest time moving forward. Um, and then we've got one of that Icornia, 
which is growing right here you can see it started out really small all of them were all four or five that I started out with was this size and then I propagated them and moved them into that big tank and the bigger a tank you put a plant in the bigger they'll grow so here we've got Schismatoglossus Priya Toy in the front here and most of these plants were donated by my friend a photographer friend uh, I'll link his Instagram up but if you're interested in photography you should definitely go check his uh, his page out but he's also into aquariums and he loves aquatic plants and we've been sharing plants he's the one who's mostly giving me the plants but sometimes when he doesn't have a plant or there's something I have that he doesn't uh, we'll just uh, swap over so yeah, it's really nice to have a buddy who's into aquascaping as well who lives nearby so this is a tank the fish in here are golden tetras they're really active like look you put your finger up and they'll all swim to you and they've been breeding as well I started out with about 20 golden tetras and right now I've got definitely more than 20 of them uh, so that's cool and there's also a few red phantom tetras in here that were accidentally bred by me and by accidentally I mean anyone can breed fish if you've got a very large amount of plants like this they'll breed for you right in the middle here there's this dua that I recently got so this tank right here has my Madagascar lace plant and this thing's been awesome because it's just been growing crazy right now the lights not on but I'm using the Chihiros uh, magnetic light right here and it's a really good light but just look at all these amazing leaves just insane that is the Madagascar lace plant now we take a look at this tank so it's kind of similar these two tanks, they're very stem plant focused. Well, this one only has one type of stem plant and you can see how it's taking over like the entire tank. That's Rotala rotundifolia from Fujian. And then we've got a bunch, oh no, this is also a stem plant. That is Starogyne purple. And that's also given to me by my photographer friend. But then we've got a few types of cryptocorins. We've got Echinodorus iguazu which is one of my favorite plants. It's just so unique looking. There's more of that Icornia in here. Then this red plant over here is Barclaya longifolia. And we've also got some pink Flamingo Crypt. Yeah, and also some, also some algae growing in this tank, but please don't mind that. Now moving on to this rack system here. This will also be getting a change. So these two walls over here, this wall as well as that wall, will be getting a change. So over here what I have now are these 45 centimeter tanks or roughly 15 gallon tanks and they're placed sideways so or front or short side facing front so it's 40 cen 45 centimeters going front, front to back. And I really like this and I've gotten some comments about people from people saying how nice this setup was. Um, but the thing about it is, for me, I don't know if I really enjoy looking in the f looking at the fish this way from front to back. I like having tanks um, normal like this. It just looks it's just more pleasant to look at, and yeah, and I think having less tanks here will make maintenance more enjoyable for me because it feels like there's so many tanks here. Every time I have to do a water change, it feels like there's so many I need to do and it's actually not that much when you start doing it but I don't know to make me feel better I'm thinking of having moving forward I'm thinking of having a two foot tank here so two foot tank two foot tank two foot tank two foot tank and there'll be four tanks and then we'll have these ones just the way it is um, and the reason why I want to keep some of these is because these will be good for raising baby fish as well as for keeping an empty tank just in case of for quarantine um, so yeah I want to keep four of these tanks and then the rest will be making two foot tanks let's take a look at some of the fish in here so we'll start off with this first tank this is a fish I recently got still not even a week um, that it's been in this fish room but these are the Pseudomugil Evantosophy gotta get a breeding mop in there for them to start breeding but I think they're still kind of small I don't know if they'll um, be able to produce eggs. This tank here don't doesn't have any fish. It's just got some roots of this plant, a Philodendron Papua New Guinea. I think the name might have changed, but yeah, 
And then in here we've got the Bozeman eye, the parents of those little fish you saw earlier, the half orange. And right now they're not fired up, but when they are fired up, they look incredible. So that is the male right there. And I think there might be two males and one female. This one for sure is a female, but I'm not sure if that... Yeah, I think there's two males and one female. So that is that. And these are the Bozeman eye from Lake Itinjo, or not Lake Itinjo, but from the Itinjo area. Yeah, now moving to the next tank. This tank, I've got a bunch of these fish. These are the Pseudomugal signifers, and I'm also trying to breed these guys. But yeah, they are just such a fun fish to watch. They're so fast, so active, and I just love that yellow-gold coloration, yellow-orange, or yeah, just a beautiful fish. Now moving on to the tank down below, we've got the Pseudomugal Luminatus, or the Neon Blue Eye Rainbow Fish, and look how amazing they look. One of the most gorgeous small dwarf fish out there. Just incredible. Yeah. Now next up we've got the Pseudomugal Gertrude from Aru 4. There's two pair in here, two males and two females, and I've been getting some eggs from these, so I've got to start um, yeah, working on them. Now next up over here we've got some Koi Tuxedo Guppies, and then I recently got some of this plant, I think Subwasser Tang or something like that, but yeah the Koi Tuxedo Guppy, one of my favorite type of guppies, and I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep this guppy um, in here. As you can see, I'm focusing a lot on my little rainbow fish. I've been collecting them, and I need to start to breed them, um, but I don't know if I'll have space for my Koi Tuxedo Guppies when I minimize the amount of tanks here. Uh, but yeah, let me know, should I keep at least this type of guppy in this fish room, or should I let them go? Over here we've got the least killifish, the Heterandria formosa. And these guys, I want to keep breeding. I really enjoy these guys. These are small little, little small fish. and <laughs> They're really cute, uh, kind of hard to focus on right now, but they're really, really fun to watch. And I, I don't know why, I kind of enjoy these guys more than these guys, so. Now moving down. You can see there's a 60 centimeter tank down there, but this isn't the tank that I want uh, for the two foot uh, tanks I was talking about. This, because this tank is kind of high, and you can see there's not much room to work with, so it's not really fun to have to do maintenance on the tank this, with this much gap. So yeah, this will be changing soon. Um, but here, I've only got a few plecos. Uh, the, leopard, the leopard frog pleco. And they're all hiding right now, so you can't really see them. Um, and then in this tank, I didn't clean this tank, so you can see how uh, much algae is covering up. But I'll make sure to clean it for the B-roll so you can see into it. But we've got the checkerboard cichlids. And look how nice they look. So I've still got all of them. They've all been doing really well. Uh, no breeding action yet, um, because I haven't been trying to breed them at this point of time. This year has just really been a busy year for me, and I haven't been able to work a lot in the fish room, so I hope you understand. Uh, but then over here we've got green water uh, with some tetras just swimming around in here, and some grow outs of my rainbow fish. You can kind of see like their shadows, and them just. If I put some food in here, they'll definitely come up. But these are the Bozeman eye rainbow fish. And now over here. There's this little wreck, but this will be getting dismantled and I'll be taking this down. So this tank, it just houses two of my Golden Wonder Killies and I've got two females. I used to have a trio. I've got one male in here, but that male just, I don't know what happened. He just started to have a bent back. I don't know if it's old age or if he got injured or something, but that one male uh, passed away. So I've been thinking of moving these guys into my four-foot community rainbow fish tank That's not in this room uh, But yeah, I'm thinking of doing that for them. So give them a good Retirement and then down in this tank. This tank is just a mix mash of rainbow fish and Little tetras just like a stock tank and yeah, I've got to do something about this too. All right, now looking at these two tanks, this is the other side of the three-foot tanks that we saw in the beginning. 
Um, but this right here is a two foot tank with uh, some Asian Rominos Rosbora. Probably one of the most beautiful uh, freshwater fish out there. It's not very common. They're, they're only red and blue. They're not the most colorful, but because they're quite uncommon, I tend to really enjoy and like these. So For the longest time, this tank has been going with no lights. I just turned the lights on yesterday and the reason for that is because I've been having a huge algae problem in the past. So I turned the lights off for like three months straight and the plants, the java fern in here, that's probably the main plant, java fern and busa phalangera, they've been growing without any light. Uh, so that's been amazing. Also I've got an under gravel filter in here. If you look at the very back of the tank, there's an under gravel filter right there. And the tank next to them is my African cichlid tank, my Embuna cichlids, uh, the yellow lab cichlids. And recently, just about two weeks ago, I got some babies. Well, not even two weeks ago, like one and a half weeks ago. So uh, one of my females over here were, were holding eggs. And I could tell because the mouth was very uh, like droopy and I knew it was holding something. So I caught that female using a net. It took me about an hour to catch her because there's so many areas for them to hide and these rocks are like really heavy and I didn't want to move them. So like, this was the spot it was hiding in constantly. So I managed to somehow get that fish out and I held it with its mouth open and I just shook, shook it a little bit and it gave me seven little babies. I know that's not a lot for African cichlids but these babies, these fish are still not fully grown and they're still quite small so getting seven from that one was really nice and you can see they've been growing up slowly in here and starting to put some color on so really happy with these guys and enjoying having African cichlids. Yeah look at them, they really use these rocks well and I think they like this tank. Be sure to subscribe for more videos, more changes coming to this fish room, making this place into more of a showroom gallery. And hopefully one day I can open this to people uh, if they want to visit. More of like a request to visit kind of basis. Like um, if you want to come check it out, you gotta send an email or something like that because I can't be having so many people come in all the time because I'm not always around. But I've been thinking of something like that. Hopefully I can work on, work towards that. Um, this year has been really busy for me because I've been helping out with another job um, and I haven't been working much in the fish room. But that job is basically over now and I'm getting more free time. So I'm going to work in here and do more. But until the next video, I'll see you guys next time.